Aloha! This is Dr. Tiki, writing a prescription for tiki drinks, tattoos, and tech. What could be more fun? It's time for another Strange Love Live. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live. We're back uh, where we normally film kind of, sort of, but not really. And this evening, Strange Love Live is being brought to you live from the Chaos Family Living Room. As always, I am joined by Dr. Normal, though. Uh, hello. And tonight, instead of having one guest, we're having, um, I'm going to guess, 13, 14, 12. There's a lot of them. And they are all authors from rpdx.com. It is rpdx one year anniversary. We've hit the thousand mark post. I should mention in all honesty that I also occasionally write for rpdx, but mostly uh, we share Strange of Live episodes up on their site as well. So... Uh, first and foremost, though, I'm joined by Wizard Boots and Diesel Hello. Boy. Yay. I think we're going to get each couch full, about 10 minutes of fame on the show. So let's start uh, just by saying Wizard Boots does lots and lots and lots of things, but on RPDX prominently, he writes the Porn Shop Diaries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And yes. we had to have him on first because he has to go to work tonight. That's right. <laughs> Maybe he'll get a good post out of this. Maybe shift. I'll be on time. <laughs> <laughs> There's water in like his tiki drink, this by the show. way. This is water. That is water with a lovely with an umbrella colorful. with fruit attached to it. Exactly. And Diesel Boy, who what is you know, what's your exact role? You're one of the founding fathers yes. of RPDX. Yes. I uh, I uh, lead cheerleader, I guess. I don't know. Ra ra sis boom ba. Brett's my pick for uh, official ambassador in Portland. Ooh, uh, Portland ambassador. I I could do with Brett as I a Portland ambassador. I drink your beer ambassador. shake. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> what is a beer shake? I don't know. Okay. It was a bad joke referring to a certain commenter on our. Uh, we could make blog. this whole segment about just bad jokes if you want. We could, but okay. I'd rather talk about. Wizard boots. I'd rather talk about wizard boots and wizard. What boots. do you want to start with? The, the MySpace.com slash wizard boots. That, yeah, the MySpace thing. I know that that's waning, um, and I've tried to do the Facebook thing, but mm-hmm. I haven't gotten it going yet. But but it's the so MySpace, hard. it's it's not just you. That's your band, right? That yeah, that's right. Yeah. So mm-hmm. why don't you tell us about your band? Um, Wizard Boots is sort of a, uh, I guess, an experiment in in uh, musical uh, mayhem mm-hmm. and madness that started in Texas about five years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've had, I'm going on my third band now. There's been <laughs> probably about 20 different people involved. Mm-hmm. But it's always been me. It started with just me, mm-hmm. and it's still just me. But I have, uh, I've had the same band for, uh, the same drummer's been playing with me for about a year now. And uh, we have an, now have a keyboard and trumpet Slappy player. Slappy G. Uh, G-Funk, Grand Funk Railroad. He has many names. Mm-hmm. Gerald and uh, Andy, the keyboard slash trumpet player. She's been with us since this past tour that we did, so... How many? So four? Uh, three of us. Three of you. Oh, because Andy is one person. Andy is that one That does person. two things. Well, yes. someone See, say she's two people that does many things. Yeah, I so. had to wrap my mind around that one for a yeah. moment. I've had some duality issues with... <laughs> she plays a mean rubber chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she does. They're, they're, it's, it's been said that Andy plays a mean rubber chicken, in case you guys couldn't hear that. Yes. And it's, it's really hard in just a few minutes to describe what it is. That that I that I do musically because mm-hmm. I I, I kind of try to make things exist just for just in in a way that that satisfies me mm-hmm. because a lot of music you look at it and you can you can look into it and see the intent for why it was created yeah and a lot of things I create people look at it and just go well what the hell is that why why would someone do that it's created like, because for I you. I wanted it to exist. Um. Yeah, that reminds me a lot of somebody else in the room. But we won't talk about him right now. <laughs> but 
bug him about the timpani. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Uh, uh, this thing time. is awesome. We're and gonna try to get him on the uh, on the new album. If you know, I, and I, I'm gonna pimp out uh, Wizard Boots a little bit more. Um, did what? Uh, Fifteen states. Oh, the, the Boots uh, Up Your America tour. Three thousand miles. Up Your America. <laughs> Uh, in uh, two and a half weeks yeah. this past uh, spring. See, uh, a lot of times I worry that, that I'm, I'm getting too old to do this because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm close to 40 now. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I said it on the air. Yeah. Dr. Norman yeah. was laughing at you. Um, but we just did our first big cross-country tour back mm-hmm. in March, so I'm kind of just now turning up the heat. So um, Yeah, and we did uh, how many states was it? I thought you said like 13 or 14 states. It was something like 14 states. Portland, two weeks. Uh, to Texas and, and Arkansas to Texas and back. back, yeah. We hit, yeah. It was a, it was a. I was not tour. on the tour. I was following along online. Brandon, and there was, stay home. Yes. There's no, no label backing. No, no financial backing. It's all, it's all me. Just kind of, you know, run where you can, get what you can, sleep in the van. We, we actually did sleep yeah. in the van a couple times. Yeah. It was, it was, okay. it was a, it was a great experience. Are you from Texas? I'm f- originally from a town in uh, Arkansas called Fort Smith, Arkansas. But I lived for 12 years in Texas, so I, I have many homes. I, I lived there for a year, and then after Texas, I moved back to Fort Smith for a year. Then I moved to California for nearly a year, and now I'm in Fort Smith. And, wh- and where in California? Was that uh, Contra Costa Contra County? Contra Costa County, County California, County. which is Walnut Creek, you mm-hmm. know, all that. Very near. Uh, where the Raiders I live. live. I used to live uh, in Vacaville. Yeah. Oh, Vacaville. Okay. Yes, oh, very nearby. And it takes all of my self-control not to slip into a southern accent when you're around, because <laughs> I just hear that little lilt, and I'm like, oh. You should have heard me when I was actually window. down there, because it yeah. when I was down there amongst my peoples, it, it actually <laughs> it came out a lot stronger. I watch video of me when I'm down there, and I'm like, oh my god, it came out. It does. It kind of brings it all to the forefront. Yes. So I'm still mastering the northwestern accent. See, I don't think the northwesterners have an accent, do they? Well, when You're I try speak- when I try to disguise myself, here's what I do. I, I imitate the lead singer of the Dandy Warhols, Courtney Taylor Taylor. Mm-hmm. I just talk in a really low, bo- even <laughs> voice like this, and you just say really grand, pretentious things, <laughs> and people just assume you're from here. <laughs> <laughs> I always, saw, I always saw Portlanders talk like people on TV, so that's why we're normal. That's always what I thought. Pacific Northwest sounds like the people on television. But then as I got older, I realized the people Betsy who, who are on TV are just, just like, they don't crazy. talk like us. You know, like Tom Brokaw, he talks funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Dr. Normal. He asked for it. Oh, oh, oh did, did someone say Tom Brokaw? I'm sorry. It's, it's, I'm, I'm not ready. Okay, maybe during after later. hours we'll have Tom Brokaw. <laughs> Tom Todd. I just called him Todd. Todd. Uh, oh, but I did yes, bring you a CD. Time. Oh. <laughs> this is the tour edition of uh, the one album. We're working on the second Wizard Boots album. So this, this is the tour edition, so it's a live album? It's kind of a limited version of the first album I did, Dandelion Blossoms, which was recorded and conceived in uh, after I left Texas and I was back mm-hmm. in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. And we recorded about 30 songs for it, and about 21 ended up on the album. But it was almost, it was too much. Yeah. When I when I look back at it later, I'm just like, who's going to sit down and listen to 21 songs? So this is like the best uh, 11 songs. So oh. anyway, it's kind of like the best. I only get 11. Well, if you if, tell me if you like it, I'll, I I'll send you more. I will. I'll tell you if I like it. I will listen to it, and I will either say really nice things or I'll be like, seriously, be honest. Um, you know, and he just finished I'm good work. At being honest. Um, and I'm going to pimp this one because <laughs> I think it's one of my favorite. A 34 second song um, that is um, was sent out via email, mm-hmm. and um, and you know you should also talk about your um, your movie career. Oh yes. Well, um, everything we do in Wizard Beats is done under this uh, sort of umbrella corporation that I created a couple of years ago called uh, Invisible Grizzly Agenda. Invisible Grizzly Agenda. Yes, and uh, IGA as we call it. Um, covers many things we, we've gotten into graphic design I did I got my first paid graphic design job uh, here yes it was in the uh, exotic uh, you know the magazine mm-hmm. with all the strippers yeah um, we do we do short films which we've done a few now um, mm-hmm. the Wizard Boots goes time tripping I don't know if you're familiar no I need to watch it and there's a, a the, the most recent one is has is fast becoming the most viewed video Are they on YouTube on YouTube yes okay that, that I've uh, done it's a trailer for a short film called uh, trucker speed of hooligans which right now it's just a trailer most there's a lot of footage that's been shot but there's no actual movie I heard rumblings of trucker speed hooligans yes it's okay open the door we've got another author joining us there will be some background noise that's fun hi 
So yeah, short films, uh, graphic design. Um, I do all the posters, um, design all the t-shirts. Pretty much everything that's done uh, for the band and that has to do with the band is done under the IGA umbrella. So it's... it's, it's invisible Grizzly invisible Agenda. Grizzly what is agenda. the agenda of an Invisible Grizzly? Well, that's that's the mystery, isn't it? You'll have to talk. There's, to lo- there's lots of mysteries I need in, in the world of Wizarding and in the world answers. of IGA. So we, we like to keep it a little mysterious. So aside from on our PDX, mm-hmm. where is the best place that someone can find you and when's your next show? Um, besides our PDX, it would be uh, Wizard Boots on MySpace. I, I, I do Twitter, but uh, not, not often. Mm-hmm. And uh, usually not when I'm sober. So um, It's my favorite kind of Twitter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Brett actually is helping me set up a, an official Wizard Boots website, wizardboots.com. We get, he snagged the domain name, so that'll that'll be up soon. So soon at wizardboots.com, right now on MySpace at, as Wizard Boots. Yeah. Yeah, just Google Wizard and, Boots. And, and when's your next show? The next show is uh, a week from Tuesday, July 7th. We This is going to be a very unusual show for us, actually. We're going to be the house band on the uh, Ed Foreman show at Dante's. They do this live talk show mm-hmm. on stage at Dante's every Tuesday. Um, Dr. Normal's laughing. Is he familiar? No. Yeah. Um, no. This, <laughs> but this is this is totally different. It's a it's a um, this is more of a comedy. Like mm-hmm. a they set the stage up like a seventies talk show, they and Ed Foreman girls. is like this sleazy. Um, well, you know, actually now looking at you, I'm <laughs> sure this is exactly like it. But um, seventies leader. We're gonna be the house band on there, so Very it's gonna cool. be it's gonna be we're gonna do a lot of our own songs, but it's gonna be um, a lot of us doing little the little musical bits between guests and uh, excellent timing but the next real show is uh, um, July 18th at the Kenton Club the world famous July 18th Club. the world at famous, the world Club. famous Club. Kenton Club the world famous Kenton Club alright well you guys your 10 minutes is up ok time for two more time. authors <laughs> cheers thank you have Kenny. a beautiful evening thank you so much for joining us ok I need Radio Gretchen and Metro no please to the couch. To the couch. You can say hi to camera. You're on. Hi. Oh, I am. Hi, camera. We've got Radio Gretchen. Hi. Hello. Hi. And Metro Note. Just have a seat. This is not good. Destroying. Show foul. Ripping down the set. I just don't know. Okay, Ooh. Radio Gretchen. Hi. And then this is one of the things I love about our PDX is that our sports beat is done by a woman. Yeah, hey, that's true. Woo. It's like written by your grandma. You're not my grandma. But it's like it's written by a grandma. <laughs> it's written by somebody who doesn't know anything about basketball. Oh, they're so nice. <laughs> Orange ball. They make me happy. I remember the post where you got really, really mad at I'm everybody so mad. that left early. That they left you early. You were like, what is Losers. And Metro, do you write about anything that amuses you? Pretty much. Do yeah. you only write about things that amuse you, or do you sometimes write about things that irritate you? I tweet a lot about things that irritate me, and Everyone I write about things. Everyone, say goodbye to Wizard Boots. He's got to go to work Bye. now. Bye. 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 After party at the porn store. All right. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 uh. So, <laughs> we'll give her a moment to recover. I'm fine. I don't drink very often, so I just... <laughs> it's good that we had you on early. <laughs> it's good that we brought you on early. This is why my boyfriend will not um, get drunk with me, get stoned with me. Not that we would do that. Because that's illegal. Because <laughs> that's not legal, which is why he won't do and it. And breaking the law is wrong. And breaking the law is wrong. But it does have to do with the hysterical laughter that does not stop. I like so hysterical sorry. laughter. It's okay. Like I said, it's good that we brought you on early. And <laughs> I've been and not later of hysterical. Well, yeah. later it may have been really funny, but you might have not liked it as much. No. It's not. No, it's, it's not. It's mostly no, because sorry. it's mostly because she's dead inside. But <laughs> yes. he says I'm emotionally dead inside. He tweeted. I did not actually. So say now that. all the internet. I don't ever ever believe know. anything that he tweets. I well. Really seriously. Really. Who, no, I'm, it's I'm not very, true. It's I from do. the heart. I do. <laughs> I wouldn't know because I, I have fall for things. Did you know Jeff Goldblum died? I fell for that. Oh, I told him. Oh. Oh. Like, okay, wait, he what? didn't die. Sorry. No, Jeff Goldblum is not dead. Have you ever watched this show before? Yes. It's okay to say no, but. <laughs> I watch a lot. I have. 
Okay. I leave lewd comments in the chat room quite often. Oh, no, you do. I've seen them. I'm sorry. I apologize. Because we've got this whole thing that Dr. Norman and I do, and it's the dead or alive thing, because he never knows when someone's actually dead or not. And then we we act kind of bicker about it sometimes. Uh, I, We've been I heard to Jeff Goldblum has passed. Could you stop <laughs> killing Jeff Goldblum, please? Because oh, if okay. he dies tomorrow, you guys are both going to feel really <laughs> bad about it. <laughs> but I won't because I'm emotionally dead That's inside. right. And I will feel right. And I won't because I'm drinking. So it's... I won't remember much of this. <laughs> so let's talk about something that you if you could tell me who you are again that would be great and you are i couldn't tell you all right let's talk about the portland pie off. i'm pie yeah pie I'm, i can always talk about pie i have a pie sitting pie. on the counter waiting for oh, me do you really yeah yeah oh. hockley brought me a pie I'm gonna eat it out to the show. Oh, it's at Whiffy's. Yeah, Whiffy's? he stopped at Whiffy's. He actually DM'd me, and then when I didn't respond, he called me, <laughs> and then brought me a pie. I was so happy. I'll be looking for that fifty bucks Whiffy's. <laughs> yeah. Or you could just you, a lower third you could just the show. <laughs> you could just start making lemon pies more often, and you know deliver them to my lemons? house. Do they make a lemon Whiffy's? Because it oh. sounds like it would be good. Oh. I have only, let's see, I've only ever had two of them. I've had their barbecue beef brisket. 75? Do I hear a 75? I've had had barbecue beef brisket and I've had the lemon pie and the lemon pie. Lovely. It sounds pretty good. I've only had the apple. Oh, the lemon pie. Because I don't like to vary too far outside of my comfort zone. So if you don't like to vary too far out of your comfort zone, then how did the Portland pie off come to be? <clears throat> well, my segue. it started on Twitter. Yeah. As all things do. And um, as we were tweeting things? about pie. And uh-huh. I said that I had never had a peach pie mm. before. And I still have not. Because I don't vary outside of my comfort zone. And then um, Lizzie tweeted that about her mom's really good lemon. That's pie. pie isn't. And then Leanne said, oh, we should have a pie off. And then we all got together sort of behind the scenes and said, that's so crazy. Let's do it. Mm, and we did. Pie. I was at the Portland Pie Off last year. Yeah, I know. I saw it. And I was and my there. my dad made fun of your tattoos, and I felt really bad. I don't think he made fun of them to me. No, but you were in earshots. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, who's that lady over there? <laughs> oh, my God. Dad, shush. Shush, it's Portland. There are tattoo inside, ladies everywhere. Inside thoughts. It's okay. My mom's inside. made fun of my tattoos oh, before, too. It's okay. She got so, over it now. Now she thinks they're pretty. They're nice. And yeah, now she just here. insults other people's tattoos. Oh, they should okay. get a better tattoo artist. They should go to your tattoo artist, sweetie. And I say, thank you, Mommy. I love you, too. <laughs> but I want to talk about pie. So, oh, the... the <laughs> you like pie, don't you? I love pie. Okay. So the sad thing about the Portland Pie Off for me last year was that I was there... For the entire thing up until like the last moment and just as you let people go and eat the pie we had to leave oh no yeah so i got to eat no pie and what was worse my then six-year-old waited the whole time and i had to take her and home she didn't get she any, didn't pie, get any either. pie either we'll make sure you guys get at the head of the line this time well we we had somewhere we had to be i know you do we had somewhere we had to be we had to be well yeah i think it was the uh the anti-prom that night and we had committed to going to the anti-prom before we knew the date of the pie off I got pie off like in huge letters as an all day event on my calendar. That's fantastic. And somebody, I can't remember what it, someone wanted to schedule something and I was like, no, uh uh-uh, uh, no, pie off is that day. I'm considering submitting a pie. You should make a pie. My pies were terrible. Were really they? Horrible, disgusting pies. There's this really interesting pie. Because I never my made, family. I have only made like five pies in my life. Yeah. <laughs> There's this really interesting pie that my family makes, and I say interesting. I enjoy it, but it is a very interesting pie, and I might you make, make it. it. You should make it. What, what's in your pie? It's called a lemonade pie. Have you ever had one? No, but it sounds good. I'm not going to tell people the ingredients because then someone yeah. else might bring one. But does it count lemonade if it's pie. like a graham cracker crust? You does it have graham to? Graham cracker yeah. crust. Oh yeah. It does. Okay. Wait, oh, how do you know? Didn't your didn't her daughter daughters. submit oh, one? Oh, that's true. Graham yeah. cracker. Yeah. All right. So, I yes. don't really know the rules of the pie. Because you didn't judge. I didn't judge. You just walked around I with an know apron how and a clipboard. Make a pie. Mm-hmm. So it was you very just wanted the pie, the the need for pie was I so great. I used sort of the more back on like it would like you know the rental of the side and making mm-hmm. sure of like the things behind the scenes happen. But the actual food part, I'm not involved in because. Where's the venue? It's at uh, Peninsula Park. 
Okay. Woo-hoo. Picnic site B. It's picnic site B. Picnic What's site the date again? It's I, August 16th. August 16th. I have it on my fall. calendar, but I'm not looking at it. Bring your pies. Bring your pies. Bring your pies. And you don't, you don't have to ad- submit anything beforehand. You just show up with your pie. Well, we're probably going to have people register online okay. this year so that we know how many to anticipate. My fear is that like only six people will come. Or that a thousand people. Will How come. many people came last year? Because it was pretty big. I had about 150 people. Wow. And we had some guy. This is my favorite story. Mm-hmm. So like somebody showed up with ice cream mm-hmm. and like was dishing out ice cream to people as they ate pie. We have no idea who this person is. <laughs> Thank you, mysterious <laughs> ice cream man. Mystery. Yeah, it, it sounds. Too, would you like to talk at all? I uh, know. <laughs> it's about to be your turn. <laughs> I'm going to ask you how your pie trick is. is scintillating. Well, would, do you make pie? You know, I have tweeted about the fact that I'm trying to make an absinthe pie. Mm-hmm. You tweet it's a lot about things so well. that intoxicate It people. could be bullshit, but I am trying. Wait, is it in the crust or is it in the filling? I don't know. You know what would My be good? Biggest... See, that is, that's step one. See, if I put a I shot of absinthe in the, in the middle of the pie, would that be acceptable? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Well, my biggest problem I would mix is I'm it cheap and I can't afford the absinthe. I would mix it. Well, I would say what you do is you, you start off with like... Uh, you know, a vodka or something, just to you know, so that you've kind of got the method down. Get the judges drunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Go a good on. idea. Yes. If if I were the judge and you got me drunk, right? I would way vote for your pie. Excellent. See, I have a strategy. Well, we now. last time we had pairing with pie, so it could have been a pie pairing. With pairing, pie. but we're not doing that this year. So, okay. what are the categories? Um. Oh, I don't know. Like pie information. It's a uh, fruit. <laughs> Fruit pie, fruit pie. Uh, stone fruit pie, stone fruit pie, berry which is pie. anything with like a stone in it. Yeah, anything with like a peach or a cherry. Yeah. Um, and then there's berry pie, berry and then pie. there's just fruit pie. Mm-hmm. Alcohol pie? Well, yes, bread. No. Oh, were you waving? Was I waving and then you're waving back? That's so sweet. Is there a savory <laughs> pie? It's <laughs> <laughs> all about the love. We all are in this room love each other we so much. Like it's I beautiful. I can we just erase this part? <laughs> no. And Richie, do you want to talk? I don't. Yes. This is can. this is fascinating. It's not. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of pie? Oh, I was yeah. You're oh, and you were gonna do the moonwalk. So let's remember to end. You know, I contemplated doing the moonwalk because I used to. Do a mean moonwalk? You got a minute and 12 seconds. Carpet. So when it when I it's... I cannot do that. That is a cop out. We, it is. It is we like we can set out. something up for after, after hours. hours. Excellent. Okay, excellent. For after hours, we'll set something up. We'll, we'll, do have we'll bring Metrono back on in issue? after hours. Yes. I like the computer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Like Thank you very much. I do. Well, let's, I know what we can do. Let's talk about the technical stuff behind our PDX. Oh, yeah. What? What? My biggest password is... <laughs> Yes, if you'd like to log in and write as Cami Chaos, you can log in as Cami Chaos. And my password is, I'm so not going to tell you. <laughs> I hope everyone's trying to log in with that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy will know. Oh, Betsy great. will know my password. It's true. Do we know anything technical about Oh, it's on WordPress. I hear that the WordPress, blog yeah. is on the internet. It is on the internet. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. Someone tell us the, the website. What's the web address? <laughs> it's right behind me. I never actually oh read it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so off the couch. Troublemakers. <laughs> I hate it, you all. <laughs> if they didn't hear it, he said, I don't actually read it. Okay. <laughs> sure. Where where else before I send you off? Where else can we find you on the internet? The place with the internety stuff. Well, we're on Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter. Where are you on Twitter? I'm Radio Gretchen on Twitter. Radio Gretchen on Twitter and, and Metro. I don't remember. It's <laughs> Metro on Twitter. <laughs> right. right. Yes. It says right here Metro. I assume that's that. your Twitter. I'm not sure where we are right now. <laughs> not either. <laughs> You're on Twitter. Oh. Is this how Twitter works? This, this is, are we inside Twitter? Twitter? We're I, inside see, I Twitter. I thought I was right Googling. <laughs> no. If you were Googling, you would hear this. Do 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 do. Ah. Do 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 do. That's my Google song. See, Excellent. that's what I sing when I'm Googling. Okay. No. Seriously, I have to kick you off now and bring Betsy on. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Go drink that. I know you have a ride home. Thank you guys so much. All right, we've got to bring some semblance of technology to the tech episode, Betsy. I don't know how the hell I follow that. I don't how know do if anyone follows that. They were that. both like, well, I don't know what we're going to talk about. We're going to be boring. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No, it went well. Yeah, it went really I think well. it went very well. Yeah. Uh, you submitted a pie last year in the pie off. I submitted a pie that I kept trying to throw people off the scent of what I was making. Uh -huh. So I was sending um, various and sundry things on Twitter saying, what do you think about grain alcohol? <laughs> What do you think about, you know, I turpentine? I remember um, this. Let's see about how this might work in my pie. My pie, I experimented a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. It was a complete and total failure. Yeah. And what's worse, when your 10-year-old kid kicks your ass on the pie baking <laughs> she front. She won. She won. She won. She did very well. She did very well. It was a beautiful well. pie. Yeah, she did the some more pie. Mm -hmm. She, um, and I helped her one little teeny tiny bit. Uh -huh. She did everything else herself. Uh -huh. Not only did she win, but she also got her pie's picture and her name called out on Slash Food of all things, wow. which is a national food site. Yeah. So thanks to Lilo, took a great photo of the pie and um, a fr another friend of mine made a big deal of it. And this was my kid who decided that after years of being known as Drama Mama on my website, for example, or operating under a pseudonym, mm -hmm. but she wanted to take the credit. Mm. She wanted to use. She her wanted name. her first and last name. Yeah. So she's up there. Very cool. Yeah. All right now we're going to move away from pie. I was yep. just saying that. And so what you're saying is the technology <laughs> behind rpx.com. Like um, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's driven by pie. So I thought it was driven by bourbon. It's oh, where's that one again? <laughs> oh, bring me the bot. No, I'll deal with that later. Um. Our PDX was built on bourbon. Um, when we were rushing to get the site up quickly after we had been outed, Thank I had you. a couple of Jack. kid free weekends or kid free weekends that the site itself was fueled by yeah. shots here and there, um, just to keep me going. Just um, here and it's, there. it's on Word. It's a WordPress site. I, um, I mentioned that. We mentioned this is that. The tech edition. And we absolutely love WordPress. Um, love the technology. It's got a few plugins there. We're actually utilizing. A theme that finally, after um, years of ex or years, <coughs> months, me. weeks, it feels like years. It's been months, I think. It, yeah. Um, we are actually amping our game up a bit and actually paying for a theme. Mm -hmm. And so we're utilizing Thesis, which a few other RPX bloggers use. Mm -hmm. um, and Thesis lets us do a lot of really cool things. Yes, it does. And it's easy for me to work with because I am not, um, I may play a technology expert. She fake plays it. the technology expert on our podcast. I fake it. I fake it. I completely and totally fake it. I can commit. I can you know say this after how many tiki drinks have I had now? I'm, I have not been monitoring your tiki beverage intake. Yes. I hope someone has. Them. But you again, you I don't have to drive home. No, I have already handed my keys over. Not only am I not driving, but I think that we my car is one of the one of the buses fear, f fueling the rest of the RPDX authors mm -hmm. home, so that we will not be unleashed on the streets of Portland after consuming several tiki, tiki drinks. Responsibility, people. Trying to be there. Great responsibility. Trying to so, be there. So. Uh, I have a question. Uh, where's RPDX going uh, in the next year? Well, we would like to re reverse the downward trajectory that we have done with this cash flow negative operation. And actually, you do that. Yeah. You tell us how. We'll, we're going to work together <laughs> on this. Um, I think the first goal is to try to, st to staunch the bleeding mm -hmm. and try to figure out ways of, of not necessarily spending as much money as I have been. Yeah. Part of that we actually rolled out today as part of the first anniversary party. On one hand, I could have said, hey, let's buy drinks for all the authors. Hey, let's go ahead and spend money on a cake. Hey, let's do this and let's do that. I looked at my wallet. I looked at the fact that my kids need shoes. I looked at the fact that my kids doing this summer camp and that summer camp, and I said, N not happening. Yeah. So, thankfully, we had a sponsor for the cake. I decided to go ahead and try to solicit a sponsor for the cake. And it was a good cake. Yeah. It was an awesome cake. So, Teresa from Thatch Tiki Bar, who, is who will be on soon. Coincidentally, 
and our PDX author will sponsor the cake in exchange for our PDX is promoting their tiki mug release party happening this Wednesday at Thatch. And there will be at least a couple of RPX authors there. Oh, there I will know. be several RPX authors there. Yes. Hopefully more. Yes. And there will be a post on RPDX on Monday where we will fully disclose that the, the, the post was bought by cake. Um, <laughs> Yay! Which Thanks. you all thoroughly enjoyed at the party, this, this, you know, earlier today. Um, but this is one of the things we're going to be looking to do in a rather, rather creative way. What are things that we can do where we don't necessarily have to spend cash, but get some promotion, or in exchange provide promotion for mm -hmm. someone else? And we'll try to do it in as above board a way as we can. Yeah. But you know. Gotta figure At some point, the bleeding has to stop. It has to stop. My kid, the 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 teen, theoretically would like to go to college. Dang. He has this expectation that the parents might kick in for that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And he's not at all impressed by the fact that his mom is supporting a website. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I understand that. Mm -hmm. I really do. Yeah. And since this is Kids. the kid that's supposed to keep me. In name brand depends someday. Yeah, I better figure out a way to keep him happy. It's a really, really good idea. It is because I hear he can be, you know, <coughs> well like his mother from time to time. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. At all. <laughs> <laughs> None whatsoever. Okay, is there anything else before we move on to the after hours that we want to say about the technology in, around, behind, encompassing, enveloping, poking at RPX? Well, if you really wanted me to bore everybody to tears for the next two minutes or so, I could tell you that we're hosted by Media Temple, that we're utilizing the Mint Stats package, which I think gives everybody a chance to see how exactly we're doing as a site. Mm -hmm. we're, we're paying and supporting Thesis, which I really love, and our PDX is actually going to be one of the sponsors for WordCamp that's happening this um, September, the 19th and 20th. And I'm sure Mr. Hockley will, will talk about this. Oh, he's going to have his own episode yeah. to talk about WordCamp. Yeah, camp I know, I know. In I know. a month so. or two, six weeks, something like so. that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, thank you for bringing this ragtag crew of awesome and, people. And the, the thing that I have to say before you kick me off the okay. couch is that every single person here has been doing absolutely phenomenal work for RPDX. I am. I know Brad is. We're grateful the fact for the fact that you do it for free, because I know that um, it's a labor of love for us. It's a labor of love for me. It's turning into a labor of love for all of you guys as well. And I am eternally grateful for that. So let's give all the authors a little yeah. round of applause. And kick ass. And Betsy and Brad. Yep. Yep. So. All right, I think that's going to wrap up. You can stay there while we wrap up. That's okay. going to wrap up After Hours. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I was staring at my microphone. I should be looking at all of you. Um, this was our first show back at home for a little while. We're going to take next week off and not have a new episode, but the week after that we'll be joined by Tyler Stickcut. Thank you so much for joining us. Is this where I do the movie?